where I felt like the FMC was on my nerves. I'm not enjoying it at all. He is obsessed with time traveling. Where the heck is that book? Because it's like amping up my reading. This book is spicy. Hi guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another new reading vlog. I thought I would start this reading vlog off at night because I just recently finished my previous reading vlog if you guys watched my previous video. But I really want to start this one now because I am so excited for this reading vlog. And you guys can see the title below, we're doing a sports romance reading vlog. The only reason why I want to do this is because I've been feeling so much in a sports romance mood and I don't even know why. I recently purchased a lot of books that are sports romances and I also really want to read some of my sports romance Kindle reads here we are with this reading vlog the first book that i'm gonna start with this is called unexpected by ej blaze here's the cover of the book it's the first book in the sun valley series and i'm pretty sure this is an interconnected standalone series that is actually completed all of the three books are out i've only recently heard about her works now and i really want to get into this book i've actually read the first page i'm pretty sure so far at least the writing is pretty interesting and i'm just excited to get into it i have to be quite honest with you i don't really know much about this i do know that the mmc is a playboy and we're talking about baseball boxing not those typical football hockey or baseball sports romances but it's boxing we're just gonna start with this book i am so excited to read this i've been in the mood to just not do anything and to read because i recently just came back from my trip to singapore to watch taylor swift and i've been so tired these past few days and then as we progress with this video we're gonna pick up more sports show answer reads so excited i really just want to read this for some reason so and i will give you guys more updates as we go on i'm pretty sure i'm gonna update you guys tomorrow instead of today because i just want to chill in bed and read and turn the lights off and all that so i'm gonna see you guys tomorrow morning hopefully with some great updates <laughs> but I just want to give a quick little reading update. It is currently the next day. It is not the morning. It's currently almost 3 p.m. But I have updates on Unexpected by E.J. Blaze because I have read up until 82%, if you guys can see from my Kindle. We're at the crux of the conflict. So basically, the past few 80% of this book was just a lot of romance, a lot of tension pining with the two characters and, of course, them trying to hide their relationship. You guys do not know with this book, you're basically following a best friend sister slash brother's best friend type of trope and so the fmc's brother is best friends with the fmc but also just want to clarify the fmc's brother is not technically blood related it's just adopted brothers so it's a little bit confusing things are going off the charts right now and i feel like with the romance and stuff it is a little bit on the longer side i feel like it's really dragged out but what i do like is that you get a lot of individual growth with the characters and what they were facing in their separate personal lives and how they both kind of help each other in those problems and i also really like seeing that it's not all spice because it is an adult romance but it's really not all spice and the spice not even that bad i am not feeling bored i would say but i just feel like the plot has been dragged out for too long that i just want things to actually get moving which it finally is getting moving and so yeah that's where i'm at i am going to continue on reading i'm probably gonna finish this today which is great because i would love to pick up another book after this those are my thoughts i am going to finish this and then i'll update you guys once i'm done with it the ending of this can make or break the reading in my opinion so Hopefully things get better. Hopefully. Probably seems like it's only been a second for you guys, but it's been two hours, one or two hours. I have officially finished reading Unexpected by E.G. Blaze. I'm still a little bit emotional from reading the epilogue because I felt like the epilogue was really good. She basically wrote it in a sense where the FMC was writing letters to the specific person talking about her life after whatever happened. This book deals with a lot of, I don't think this is a spoiler at all, but there are talks of grief of assault, of domestic violence, and so I felt like that epilogue was just really good. It just made the story complete, so I really liked the epilogue. It made me really emotional. There were definitely some parts of the book where I felt like things dragged out, where I felt like the FMC was on my nerves, and I really didn't like what she was doing. I do feel like the way the FMC and the MMC got together was a little bit too... I don't know how to explain it, but it just felt like fate was constantly putting them together when before whatever interaction had happened, they were always in the same place but never meeting each other, and it just felt too unrealistic for me so that's why i feel a little bit off with the way they got together the way they actually started liking each other so i think i'm probably gonna give this like a 3.75 or a four star book i am still going to hold off on my reading maybe give it a few days to actually set my reading on this book overall 
felt really good about this book and i am going to pick up my second book for this video it is also available on kindle unlimited but i do own the physical copy oh and also really quick i forgot to mention this but with this book even though i did say that it's a sports romance you don't really see a lot of the sports that goes on with this book the guy is in boxing but you don't really see the boxing aspect of his life a lot you only see two scenes of him boxing so not very sports romance it's a very easy romance read that kind of focuses on mental health more than the sports aspect so the next book i'm going to read however i feel like it's going to be sports romance i don't really know but the front cover of it is basically sports and this is first down by grace riley and all i know about this is that it's fake dating something to do with them wanting to make each other's exes jealous and from what you guys can see it's a very thin book and it's basically less than 300 pages i love that because unexpected was like 600 on the kindle so i just want to read something that's short and sweet so i'm gonna pick this up hopefully i'm gonna enjoy reading this because i just really like sports romances once again which is why i'm doing this video okay so basically the mmc who's called james really needs help with tutoring a class and bex who's the mmc really wants to make her ex jealous and so she asked james to help fake date her i feel like that plot device has been used quite frequently in a few romance books i've read but let's just see how different this will be hopefully it's gonna be a different case yeah this is the front cover and i really like the cover it's really pretty i just really like this kind of cartoon art style so that's why i actually got this book this is on ku too but i'm gonna read it on my physical copy and let's just get started into reading first down by grace riley <laughs> to take a shower and do my skincare and all that basically i have read up until chapter 21 of this book this is page 123 and because it's like less than 300 pages i'm almost halfway through this book okay so i have thoughts about this book for sure the beginning of this book started off really similarly to unexpected which is the book that i read before this one in a sense where there's drama with the ex-boyfriend of the fmc and i'm not spoiling anything for both of these books because they do start off with that problem and with this book the way they taper off that that whole drama with the ex-boyfriend is that she wants to find a fake boyfriend so that her ex-boyfriend can leave her alone and that's where the MMC comes in and what I find with this book I can't seem to like the main characters but I don't really dislike them too I don't have any strong feelings towards any of them and it's mainly because I don't think that they have any character in them I feel like with this book it focuses a lot on the romance between the two of them on the chemistry and the tension that I honestly do not see because from the get-go in the beginning right there and then it's all purely physical attraction don't even get me started on the side characters I don't even know who they are I don't even know how they play a role in this and the only thing I know is that I hate the ex-boyfriend. It's gotten to a point where I feel like the romance is just too quick and I don't know what the heck is going on and why there's still so much left of the book. And honestly, the MMC is kind of cringe. I do hope that things will get better, but this book really focuses a lot on the romance. I feel like there's a lot of scenes of them together, but not any scene of them on its own. And also the fake dating portion of this book just doesn't feel very fake. It just feels like they're hooking up. Those are my thoughts about this book. And so I am going to take a shower and all of that. Hopefully I'm gonna fly through this and then I will let you guys know my thoughts tomorrow because I want to do an overnight mask. And yeah, I'm going to go now. I will see you guys in the morning. Reading update. I ended up reading up until page 156 and at this point of the book, I have come to realize that I'm not enjoying it at all. I'm not enjoying the romance. I'm not enjoying the characters and individuals and I do not feel like they have any personality whatsoever. And I'm a little bit disappointed because I still have two more books in the same series that I need to get through because I obviously purchased the physical copy. But obviously I am going to give them all a shot because I do enjoy the other two brothers who are the main characters of the other two books and their characters in here are pretty interesting so I hope I hope that I'll enjoy their book. But yesterday, I turned my lights off and stuff, and I realized that reading on my book was really hard. So I ended up picking a Kindle book. I ended up picking up 
The Graham Effect by L. Kennedy. This is, I'm pretty sure, a hockey romance. This one is basically about the kids of the off-campus series, I think. I didn't have to book three, and then I didn't continue on with the series, but I've heard great things about this one. So people who didn't enjoy off-campus, they actually enjoyed this one. So I picked up The Graham Effect. I am at page 14 right now. This is 4% of the book, and I have been having a lot of fun so far. At least, I haven't read a lot. I quickly went to sleep yesterday because I was actually pretty tired, and right now I'm gonna continue reading first down i'm hoping the relationship gets better but honestly i do not have high hopes because we're halfway through and i do not enjoy them as a couple i do not feel any chemistry i do not feel like they're meant to be together it's really based on physical attraction not really mm -mm. I don't know, I just don't really feel it as much. Anyway, I'm gonna continue reading this. I will let you guys know if I'm done with the book because I'll probably speed through this book, probably get it done super quickly. So I'm gonna update you guys once I'm done with the book and then I'll let you guys know if I did end up picking more of The Graham Effect. But I think after I'm done with this, I'm gonna just read The Graham Effect on my Kindle. And if I do end up really liking this story, I'll pick up the physical copy. But I'm a little bit terrified because I didn't really enjoy her off campus, which is why I didn't buy the book first but if I end up liking this one, I'll buy the book. I am going to go now, I'll let you guys go and then I will update you guys once I'm done with this book. If we could run it, if we could run it back and do you wonder If we could run it back, if we could run it If we could run it back and do you wonder to talk about my thoughts about first down by grace riley because i officially finished this like five minutes ago and i have some thoughts i wrote them down on my notes app because i have a feeling that i have a lot of thoughts about this book and so as i was reading like the last hundred pages i wrote down some thoughts i'm gonna read out what i listed on here the first note i had of this is no monumental moment of them going from fake to real there was no talk there was no moment where you kind of feel relieved that they're not fake dating because it never happened. I wrote back to so frustrating and stubborn for no apparent reason. Oh my gosh. Oh. Makes excuses for some of the things that happens in her life. And then I put in parentheses because I have no choice. And I said, you do have a choice. You just don't want to act on it. A lot of the excuses she makes don't make sense. And then I put James endearing but truly a simp in not so good way in a sense where he kind of loses sight of the things that he has to do because of his relationship with Bex. I don't know how they ended up falling in love because it was 0 to 100 real quick because I truly do not know where they started really liking each other. There were no scenes in here that I felt like was the hit moment of him really liking her and vice versa. James doesn't have his priority straight but thankfully they did talk about that by the end of the book and it's true. He couldn't manage the priorities he has in his life and so at least they talked about it which I really liked and so that portion of the book I really enjoyed. I really liked James's mom because I feel like she put a lot of good points about him as a person. My last point, I think the reason why I don't find logic in their actions is because I don't believe that they actually love each other to that extent. With that being said, I'm done with my notes and those are my thoughts about this book overall. I didn't enjoy this, not because the writing is bad, because I feel like the writing is great, there were no grammatical errors and I felt like the sentence structuring was really good, but I just didn't like James and Bex's characters and I didn't like how things went on. And then now I'm gonna pick up The Graham Effect by Elle Kennedy on my Kindle because it's on KU and I'm gonna read that. Hopefully I do enjoy it. If I do enjoy it, I'm gonna pick up the physical copy of this book and I hope it's gonna be a good read because I have high hopes for that book and I've heard great things about it. Lighting is bad, I know. Quick update. Probably only take like a few seconds. Just wanna let you guys know that I'm having fun with the Graham Effect. I'm at 28% of this book and I love the writing. It's really witty. It's really different than The Deal, which I read from her. And so I'm having fun. I am absolutely loving the relationship. It's really slow. You're getting to know the characters. You're getting to know them as people. You're getting to understand their relationship and their dynamics together. It's really fun. After reading that previous book, 
reading this is making me extremely happy. It's so funny sometimes and I also really like all the side characters. They all have a side to them that's unique to the story. That's all my update for tonight. I'm gonna update you guys tomorrow. Camera is a little bit slanted. I just wanted to pop in here and give you guys a morning update. But before I give my reading update, because I do have some thoughts with The Graham Effect by Elle Kennedy, I want to just clean my room because I've been feeling like I'm in a rut ever since I came back from Taylor Swift. My room is a mess. Everything is like all over the place. I'm getting a little bit affected by the mess that is my room. And so I'm gonna... I'm gonna clean this up and then I wanna take a shower and just like rinse myself off. I did go to Pilates this morning, but I just feel like I'm in a rut still. So I'm gonna clean up my room, clean up the mess because I'm just, everything is a mess. I have so much laundry behind me. And then I'll give you guys an update after I finish cleaning my room. Let us turn some music on and then I'm gonna do some room cleaning. like to give my updates now because I finally took a shower and all of that. I feel so much better. My room is so much cleaner. I am now at 63% of this book and according to the Kindle, I'm at two hours left. I am having a lot of fun. I love the book. I love the romance between the main characters and I also specifically really love all of the side characters of this book. All of the FMC's friends and all of the MMC's friends, I truly enjoy. I like how they're all uniquely themselves and the way they kind of play a part in the story is so exciting. Exciting. And also I just really like specifically the MMC's best friend Beckett. I am hoping for his book. I'm not sure if she's gonna write a book on him, but I really want a book on him. I think he's so unique, so funny, so witty, and I also love the interactions between the characters. Obviously with books, I do love romance, but I really like when there are some things about the book that makes it very special. And in this case, the FMC really likes butterflies. She likes butterflies. She also listens to a podcast, a meditation podcast of like nature sounds, and it's just really funny. And also Beckett, the FMC's best friend once again, he is obsessed with time traveling. And so I just like all those little things that makes them very unique. This book is really fun i love it the writing is really witty the writing is great the romance is really slow burn obviously they're attracted to each other physically but they really got to know each other before they realized that they're actually attracted to the person as a person and i really like that i'm having fun which is why i'm flying through this book i'm obviously gonna finish this today i'm gonna speed through this and i will let you guys know when i'm done i don't really know what i'm gonna pick up next i might i might pick up the other book that grace riley wrote and that whole sports romance series just to see if it's a bit different than the first book but those are my thoughts i'm gonna continue reading this i am going to finish this and then i will update you guys my dog he's right here and he's so cute Nobody, nobody. I know I just give an update, but I thought I would pop in here just for a little bit to talk quickly about what I just read on the Graham Effect. And I thought I would sit here with my dog and talk to you guys. I really like the way this book is going. And I'm pretty surprised to say that because I didn't enjoy any of Elle Kennedy's off-campus series. So I'm pleasantly surprised by this. I really like how the relationship is going. There's such healthy communication, mutual respect from both characters. And I really like that they're talking things through about about their trauma, about the things that are going in their lives. I think with Ryder, who is the MMC by the way, I think he has this really bad backstory about his past and I think it's gonna be really really sad and painful. It's been a while since I've read a romance book where both characters are just very healthy with their communication. They talk about their feelings. There's no such thing as miscommunication in their relationship. This is like amping up my rating, honestly. I didn't like a few things about this book, mainly in the beginning, such as when the MMC had a hook up with another girl but i do know why that happened and then when the fmc i don't know if this is a spoiler or not but she did something that i was like why did you include this like i don't think it's needed and i have a feeling that i'm gonna go to the bookstore tomorrow to grab this book because i do want the physical copy i'll let you guys go and then we'll come back again when i'm done with this book because i'm at 73 percent i'm done with the grim effect i'm at the acknowledgements page of this and i'm officially 
finished with this book i did enjoy the ending i did enjoy whatever happened in their relationship after that 70 ish percent mark and i also really enjoyed the interactions that he had the mmc had with her parents and i did end up tearing up a little bit when there was this conversation with Gigi's mom who's hannah who is the main character of the deal and the mmc and i felt like that part was very wholesome and i did enjoy this whole storyline like i said before i just really like the relationships the characterization is amazing and the lines are really witty really comedic but also really really wholesome however i don't think i'm gonna be rating this like a five stars even though i did have fun with the book because first of all i do still think about that beginning portion of which he had hooked up with another girl and i also felt like some parts of this book was a little bit dragged on in a sense where there were fluff going on fluff about the romance of them together and i find that cute yes but i just feel like some parts not really needed just dragged the story on for too long so i feel like it will probably be like a 4.5 or a 4.25 that is it for the graham effect by l kennedy i'm probably gonna buy the physical copy of this and now we're gonna pick up another book and i'm not entirely too sure what i want to pick up i did say i want to pick up breakaway by grace riley which is the second book in the series where the first book is first down and i read in this video i checked on goodreads and that book is the highest rate one out of the whole series i do have the physical copy i'm gonna grab that real quick here's a physical copy of the book this is a lot thicker than the first book let me see Ooh, 400 pages you guys and this is cooper's book cooper is the brother of the mmc and the first book first down he's the younger brother of james and he's in the hockey team so this is a hockey romance and also this is coach's daughter romance and Cooper basically in the first book is portrayed to be a playboy, hooks up a lot with different people, and basically just doesn't want to settle down. So I don't really know what this really is about. I guess it's a friends with benefits type of thing. And this is the highest rated one out of the series, so I'm hoping that it will be a good read. Also a lot of people rated this on Goodreads. I don't know why I've never heard it, but I saw the amount of reviews and it's pretty high. So I think I'm going to read this because this is the only one I can think of right now. I don't really know when I'm going to get started into this because I do need to get some work done first, but I'll let you guys know when I'm starting this and then I'm hoping to go to the bookstore to get some new books because even though I just bought a lot of new books and I did a book haul there are some new releases I have yet to grab so I think I'm gonna go to the bookstore soon and I think I'm just gonna include it in this reading vlog but yeah, I'm gonna go now I'm gonna work a bit first and then I will catch you guys up when I've started this book about to leave soon so i'm gonna do this real quick i didn't give you guys an update again yesterday because i actually picked up breakaway at night around 9 to 10 p.m and i've only read a little bit of this book i felt like i was reading so much these past few days so i took a little break did some other things now i am at page 107 this is chapter 15 i don't really have much qualms about this right now i do like this a little bit better than the first book which is first down and i feel like cooper as a character is a lot more interesting and Penny as the FMC is a lot less irritating. Their relationship doesn't frustrate me but I do have to admit that this is also another relationship that comes through physical attraction. When I went into this I had a feeling that it was going to start pretty early on. The friends with benefits part of this. I'm okay with them starting off with physical attraction but they need to have this period of them getting to know each other and really liking them for who they are as the individual. I feel like that will make or break the book can't judge too early obviously but writing is great i don't think the writing is a problem i think the characterization of the books are the ones that i have a problem with hopefully i can give you guys an update tonight because i actually don't really have much stuff to do tonight i'm gonna go now i'm not gonna read a lot more because i'm going out but i'll give you guys an update at night if i have ended up reading a lot more I'm back from my little outing and I have such exciting haul for you guys. It's not a lot of books. The first book I got is Some Kind of Perfect by Chris and Becca Ritchie. It's the last book in the Addicted World series. It's currently on my TBR card, so I'm not gonna take it up again. I just needed that last book to complete the whole series. And then I got two sports romances. So I mentioned that I was gonna get this book and I searched high and low in my bookstore for this. I didn't expect to be able to get it because I searched online and it said that it wasn't in stock in store, but I wanted to test my luck and 
and I found it. It was hidden like in a nook and I had to like bend down to find it and there's only one left. So I'm very happy about this. I really wanted the physical copy. I just wanted the physical copy because I really enjoyed this book. And the more I think about it now, the more I realize I do love this book. So I think my rating is going to stay at 4.5. You guys probably saw a sneak peek. But yeah, The Wall of Winnipeg and Me by Mariana Zapata is the other book I got. And this will be the next book I'm going to read in this vlog. I'm still on Breakaway, by the way. But after I finish this book, I'm going to get into this one. This was recently released. Like this version of the book was recently released. I also have heard great things about this book. And I really like Mariana Zapata's writing. It's really slow burn. And honestly, I'm in the mood for a book that doesn't have a ton of spice. Her only other work I've read is from Luca with Love. And that one only had spice at like the last 5% of the book, I think. And so I'm hoping this will be the same because honestly, I'm at a point where I'm not too interested in reading a book with spice again. This one, plot is a lot better than the first book. And I think writing is also a lot better than the first book. But this book is spicy. Don't be fooled by the cartoon cover because this book is spicy. Very, very kinky. And I am surprised because I wasn't expecting that. I'm not even halfway through the book and I'm surprised by the spice. But yeah, I'm gonna continue reading this and then I will let you guys know once I'm done with this book. I'm gonna do my final reading update tonight. I am not done with this book. I wanted to get it done, but I decided that I'm not gonna force myself because I'm so sleepy. I'm at page 346. It is in the middle of chapter 55 and i have like less than 100 pages left to the end i think around 80 to 90 pages the book is getting really dragged on and this kind of feels a little bit the flow of the book at least not the plot like icebreakers by hannah grace where there's a lot of build up of the romance and the tension and then they get together by like the 60 percent mark and then the 40 percent is just lots of drama I guess that's the best way to say it. I'll probably read a little bit more, but I'm gonna go to sleep now and then I will update you guys tomorrow on my reading progress. Hi guys, I didn't give an update this morning. It is currently in the evening, it's almost 5 p.m. And I have finished reading Breakaway by Grace Riley. I did finish this this morning, but I just came back from my outing and so I wanted to give an update. I did like the ending, it was very wholesome. I did tear up a little bit, especially when it comes to Cooper and his relationship with his family. Overall, I did enjoy this book a lot more than the first one, but I do feel like the main characters are just constantly horny for each other. It just takes away from the tender emotions of this book but in reality they both go through different traumas and i feel like the whole spice scenes kind of takes away from that and there's a lot a lot of spice scenes on here i'm not kidding it's a lot overall i think i'm gonna rate this like a three star i'm supposed to pick up the wall of winnipeg in me but where the heck is that book i don't know where it is where did i put it can't find it Oh, there you go. Turns out it was here all along. The Wall of Winnipeg and Me by Marion Zapata. The thing is, I am going out tonight, so I'm not too sure if I can actually get this done in a day because it is 500 pages and I do want to end this reading vlog tomorrow. I'm gonna get started into The Wall of Winnipeg and Me. This is about a nanny and a single dad, I think. That's it for this update. I will see y'all tonight. I thought I would put you guys a bit further because I'm not looking too good today. It is currently a Monday and today is the last day of this whole reading vlog because I started on a Tuesday, so I'm ending it on a Monday. Today, I am swamped like swamped with work and I have so many things going on today because I have been putting it off for a while so it is my fault in part because I was procrastinating but I have a lot of work today so I decided that I'm actually going to be ending the reading vlog right now right here I haven't gone through a lot of the wall of Winnipeg and me yesterday I went to dinner with my friends and I came back at like 11 p.m. I went to sleep immediately and I woke up this morning ran some errands and now I'm currently working and I'm still working I'm not really done yet and I thought about it for a while and i realized that i don't think i will have even time to read today so i'm just gonna end the vlog here i did read 82 pages i did start the book but i just feel like i cannot finish it in this reading vlog so i am just gonna end it here and talk about the four books that i did end up reading in this reading vlog i wouldn't say this was not a success because i did end up reading four books and most of the books that i read are pretty thick i didn't realize that but unexpected by ej blaze is the first book i read and that book according to goodreads is around 450 pages and then i read first down by grace riley and this is the thinnest book that i read in this vlog this was only 296 pages so this one was a very very easy read it took me like a few hours to get this done and then i picked up the graham effect by l kennedy i read this on my kindle i did pick up the physical copy after reading it on my kindle i didn't realize it was 480 pages you guys it's so 
thick i didn't realize it but i flew through this book it took me also around one day to get this done and then i picked up breakaway by grace riley this is the second book following first down it's an interconnected standalone series and this is hockey romance and this book was 430 something pages and so i did end up reading a lot of pages in total and i did end up reading four books i haven't felt this excited to pick up books in a while so this is such a good reading vlog and also i'm not gonna lie i am a bit sick of reading sports romances because these are all sports romances and i am just sick of reading them i thought i would just stop this reading vlog because i do want to pick up a fantasy book and i do need to read books that are on my march tbr that are on my physical tbr so i am just gonna stop this reading vlog here i'll probably get to reading the wall of winnipeg and me in the future not now because i am kind of craving a fantasy so i am gonna stop this reading vlog here and I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. What I've learned from this reading vlog is that I definitely cannot read so many sports romances in one go, especially when I stopped reading Breakaway. I was already at the verge of pulling my hairs out because I just do not want to read another sports romance. With that being said, hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in another reading vlog. Bye!